Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Coffee Chug, and I want to share with you an awesome project. You've probably seen this before in some other books, but Josh Berker does a lot with Turtle Labs and a variety of other books. It's nothing new, just trying to showcase different ways in which we can incorporate math into these Steam slash Makerspace projects. I always think math and to show maintain all the standards and how you can actually use this in a way to actually make it meaningful. But for this video, I'm just going to show you a possibility of what you can do with turtle.sugarlabs.org. This is logo or, or, or turtle, turtle coding. Um, very similar to Scratch because Scratch is based on the principles of logo and creating turtle art here. So what we have is a turtle. And it's a basic function. Whatever we put in an input, we're going to have an output. And so we have this start. And we have a variety of different blocks, which we're not going to get into in this particular lesson. But what we're going to do is we're going to add in some blocks here. First, we're going to start with a repeat block. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag this in here into the start. And I'm going to be actually creating a hexagon. So we're going to be repeating what I'm going to make here six times. If I wanted a square, it would be four, triangle three, that sort of thing. And so we are actually going to be going in here, and I'm actually going to have my turtle move forward 100. You can make this any number you wish. And if I were to just actually take this repeat out and show you here, just for the, you start thinking about functions in math, this forward, this input, forward 100, if I go to run this, he's going to go forward 100 and he's going to come to a stop here. And so you can see as he moves from here, he moved a 100 increments right there forward. So we're going to go ahead and clear that out. All right. So this is really good for kids to kind of visually see how math can operate, especially when you're teaching functions, which can be a little bit difficult. And so we're going to add another one in here. Let's go ahead and have them go to the right. And we're going to go this time, we're going to go 60 degrees. And the reason we're going to go 60 degrees is if you think of everything in terms of a circle of 360 degrees, if I actually want to create a hexagon, a hexagon has six sides, so 360 divided by 6 is 60. And so by doing that, going to the right 60 degrees is going to make that angle. And then it's going to repeat and do this six times. Forward 100 degrees. It's then going to turn 60 degrees, and it's going to repeat that. And so when we go to run this, we should have a hexagon. Boom. There it is. Now, check this out. We can take it a whole step further. So we can go right in here. We're going to add another repeat block, and we're going to snag this bad boy right in between here. I'm going to move this guy in. Okay. Now, what I'm going to be doing is kicking out another little command here. So watch what I do here. I'm going to move this after it creates a hexagon. Okay. We've got a repeat loop within a repeat loop. And I'm going to move this. I'm just going to make it um, 20 degrees. So here's what's going to happen. It's going to go through here. And I'm going to move this to, let's just make it 36, just for the sake of the demonstration. 36 times, it's going to do what's inside here. And so 36 times, it's going to pop down here. And it's going to repeat this six times. We know this right here makes a hexagon shape. Forward 100 degrees, turn 60 degrees. It's going to do that six times and make a hexagon shape. Then it's going to kick out. And it's going to, turtle's going to turn 20 degrees. And then it's going to loop back up and go, there's one. And it's going to make another hexagon again. Two, turn 20 degrees. Boom. And it's going to do this 36 times. And when this happens, we get this. Now we're creating some geometric patterns. It's going to go through. And now it's going to be a little redundant. But you get to see what's going to happen here. And here's what's awesome. We can now take this turtle. We can slide him over. We can do a screenshot of this work just like this. And then if you have a 3D printer, we can add a few more blocks and you can 3D print this, which I'll show you here um, in another video. Or for me, that's simple, quick, and easy. I can jump over here to my Silhouette software. I can load it up. Let me show you what I did here. And we can vinyl cut this out. And so I'm just gonna go over, I'm gonna slide my pattern over here right into the stuff. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to jump over here to my tracing tool. I'm going to select the trace area. Boom, here this is. 
this automatically picked up. Sometimes I have to adjust my filters. I select trays. I move this out, get rid of it, boom, make this whatever size I want. I'm going to make it print on a full 12 by 12 vinyl sheet. I can jump here. I can align it, make sure it's nice and centered. So when I go to lay it onto this awesome cardstock, it'll be ready to go. And I'm ready to cut this. Boom. There it is. All right, guys. So this is just to show you how you can take turtle art to teach some simple math functions of input-output. Sometimes it's hard for kids to grasp. And you can talk about how coding is all about input-outputs. You input your code. The turtle is the output. All right, guys, let me know what you think, thoughts, ideas, and more. And I'll be creating the lesson. Check the show notes for links to how you can make this a math lesson. And until next time, stay awesome.